Hi everyone, this is Steve from Open Bomb. It's uh, the January 2020 release, and I'm excited to bring to you the complete, finished SolidWorks purchased assembly workflow. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got a simple um, design open in SolidWorks, has a sub-assembly here called Shaft Assembly. I've set up Open Bomb already, installed the add-in. You can see I don't yet have a bill of material for this <clears throat> in Open Bomb. So let's go ahead and create one. I'm just going to do this without a catalog today for the purposes of demonstrations. So I'll create a simple bill of material. I've created it multi-level. And we will see that that shaft assembly appears as part of our uh, part of our bomb structure. Now the the uh, the the workflow that I'm demonstrating here is that uh, that this shaft assembly might be something that I purchased from a subcontractor. <clears throat> so what do I do then? How do I tell Open Bomb and SolidWorks that that while that is an assembly, I really want it to appear just as a line item uh, with a single part number 1022 as a line item in my bill of material. How do I do that? Well, I've got some choices. Back in SolidWorks, I could suppress uh, this assembly, but then it wouldn't show up at all. I could uh, wrap it as an envelope in the in the settings <clears throat> but then the bomb actually still appears in open bomb so the actual the best solution to this something we've just implemented this release is to open up this assembly or, or any assembly and edit the configuration properties and set this thing to hide by the way we support show which is the default hide which will hide all the sub components and promote, which will move them all up to the top. And that's something we call the virtual assembly. I'm not really covering that in this one, uh, in this video. So we're gonna set this to hide, which says to SolidWorks, hey, put this line item for, the, for this, uh, this uh, shaft assembly in the bomb, but don't show any of the subcomponents. Okay, let's set it to hide. We all know that we need to save those changes back into the assembly. And let's just update our bill of material. Terrific. Open Bomb now has that, that bill of material. And we're going to view this in multi level, but we will see now that this shaft does not have a sub assembly. It's identified as an assembly, but there is no are no sub components. And so what that means is that shaft assembly no longer exists as a bill of material uh, with, with uh, all of its bits and pieces inside Open Bomb. You say to yourself, well, what does that mean to you? Well, the importance of that is that any nuts or bolts or screws or anything that are in those sub-levels won't be reported up to the top level and end up sort of as duplicates because you are buying this shaft as a single assembly. So go ahead and give it, give it a try. Of course, if you change your mind, you set that back to, uh, back to show and you'll get the uh, regular behavior that we had before. So I hope you find this useful. Again, we're releasing the, this is the final release of this end-to-end uh, of, of -end workflow. I'd love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com.